Well, I've got uh, Alf Callan here, of course, MHK for Air and Michael. This is definitely something you've had your eye on, for, I know, the story for some time, and uh, Stella's been very generous, saying that you've been trying to help her, but, well, you helped her, you hasn't come to anything. Obviously, it's, it's closing. And, it, and it's that sad, after 40 years of contribution in the north of the island, to, to, lo- to see Stella go and, and retire uh, is, a, is, is a sad day, but we should also celebrate her achievements and longevity in, in running such a sort of iconic business, if you like. But sometimes, sometimes these things come, come to, to a natural conclusion. Uh, uh, clearly, um, having worked now with Stella and her family as well uh, on this matter, particularly in, in recent months, we, we all agree this is the right thing for, for Stella and um, the business. And what we've got to do now is to look forward uh, to finding a, uh, a, a new business, a new inhabitant for this building that will help okay. enhance the Jerby area and, and deliver some more economic growth. Let's just talk about this whole thing because you've been a lovely Nissan hut charging £3,000 a year. And it had to go, moved in here given this fantastic new place and obviously you know she's saying in a very gentle way that her rent has gone up year by year by year and it's got to the point i think thirty thousand was mentioned there that's a massive amount of rent for this sort of business i'm guessing and that's 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 been the thing that's made it have to close right well there are many factors being involved in this decision um and you know as i said i've worked very very closely with stella and her family uh on this particular matter for at least 18 months now and yes you know, the government's decision to uh, increase the rent or to bring it up to what they regard as the uh, standard has, uh, whilst been di- disappointing, I can understand um, their side of the story. So there's two, there's two sides to every story, and there's a lot of other factors yep. that, that are not open necessarily to public um, discussion. But what, what, we, what the conclusion is at the end of the day, and having worked closely with all sides and, in fact, met with all sides and facilitated and brokered a meeting between all parties uh, not not more than about a month ago. Um, you know, we've, we've come to what we think is the right decision. Stella's uh, come to that decision with okay, us okay. and her family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think rather than trying to sort of nitpick into uh, uh, who, who's to blame for something, I think what we need to do, Paul, is really say, say this has been fantastic well, for, me, for the me, island for yes, 40 okay. years. Well, let me give Stella's business has reached a, a stage where yes there are some issues around um, the rent but you know what we should be doing now is is working uh, working with Stella which is what we are doing to bring this okay. to a successful conclusion. Your, your fingerprints must be on this somewhere because at the end of the day you're the Treasury Minister you're telling your departments to get money in this is got a commercial rent of presumably 30,000 or maybe even more right this is what you could get or it's, it's your building I say yours it's DOI D- is this under? Well this falls under the Department of Infrastructure right. and of course but you're, that's up to them and the Minister to try and uh, get the right uh, income levels from from government property, reasonable income levels. But, you know, the Minister at at the Department of Infrastructure also has to balance out a number of factors, some fairness factors, and also make sure that that rents are proportionate and and fair. And as I said, you know, for 18 months, ever since the issue arose, I've been, long before I was Treasury Minister, I've been working with the Department and with Stella to try and bring this to to the right conclusion. It's difficult to juggle two things. That's what I'm trying to say. You're the the local MHK, but at the same time, if this was something else, you'd obviously be totally looking to get the most rent you can for your buildings right no no hang on a second i mean i i I think that i i think that any government department when it's involved with um leasing government property out to private enterprise should be doing so on a fair and consistent basis that's why we have government valuers that's why we have uh, processes in place to make sure that that value is being um, achieved but you know we, we've just produced a, a new procurement policy Paul that talks about uh, making sure that we're also getting the right social value from from say our procurement exercises and I know for a fact that in uh, say for example the Department of Health and Social Care the department's worked on a charitable ba- basis very recently I'll cite men in sheds as a very good e- example of that whereby uh, a government asset and some government property has been uh, given effectively to to the charitable charitable sector to help uh, in, in delivering their objectives and aims. So we are obviously minded on a society benefit, but you know this is a private enterprise. There's a whole. It's not just about government rent. There's a whole host of factors okay. here, which really are are are, are, are the business of of, of the, it, the it, person who's yes, running the the enterprise. And so I, w- I wouldn't be here talking to you if it was just some sort of little thing here. It's because it is this sort of thing. It's become a, you know it's an iconic sort of thing in the Isle of Man. It, it it does lift it above that sort of level of just oh it's changing usage. So how do you feel about it? I mean you know 
are you relaxed that it is shutting or are you looking forward to the future I mean you know because this could be a big development zone couldn't it well I, 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 whatever the future holds you know we that will that will happen I mean you know and I'm sure that uh, uh, you know as things um, happen with Stella and she closes down the business and and um, the, the site is eventually cleared then it'll be up to the department obviously to think about re-advertising and to think about you know their options and indeed I can tell you now I'll be working very closely with the minister and I'm keen to, to speak to the minister for infrastructure in the next couple of weeks about his plans for the whole of the um, Jerby industrial uh, estate but but rather than sort of you know uh, you know heart backwards all the time I think what we have to do in these circumstances is um, celebrate Stella's achievements in, in everything that she's sure, done okay. everything yeah, that yeah, she's yeah. She, she brings and then we've got to be optimistic about finding you know a new replacement to enhance and right. deliver more because you know there's been a huge amount of success over here in the last four or five years and I just point straight across the road we've got a fantastic new uh, motor museum um, which is running incredibly well it's become very much a focal point for TT uh, Grand Prix all sorts of other uh, clubs and and organizations so we've got a, we've got a good cafe and restaurant in the garden house up and running okay. so there okay. has been yes. progress How's right? the health and, and service thing going all right that's five years old well and we will be continuing to work to make this into a much more uh, economically productive and beneficial area not right. only just for the local community okay. but for the islanders this could be empty though in a few months time and could be empty until you know whoever but you know it, this is not your department, I understand, but... Well, we could speculate till kingdom come. What, what's important is that we uh, work with Stella, uh, celebrate what Stella's done, celebrate her history. It, well, it's, what, 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 else, what else do you want to do? Do you want, you want to no, sort of I'm saying you've said that, look into crystal balls and speculate on something that may or may what's not What's the future happen? here then, do you think, seriously? Do you think it's going to be the, uh, a, a biomed and a film hub and a, a new... New town of the Isle of Man. Well, I, what I do think is there's been so much speculation and and plans drawn up over a, at least 15 or 20 years, and nothing's really happened. What are, one of the objectives that I will have is to talk to the um, Department of Infrastructure, to talk to the Minister, uh, to understand particularly with in respect of the industrial estate what the plans are and how we can actually bring that to fruition. I, my view is that we need to uh, be a bit more concentrated, perhaps in our in our views, um, uh, uh, instead of try, trying to develop the whole estate, um, piece by uh, piece, by piece uh, approach would certainly help, and, and to get some more uh, idea about how the estate will look from a front-facing perspective, and also, uh, if necessary, to spend a bit of money to get some proper manufacturing-type units or, or appropriate units in place so that we can exact start to um, help provide a platform for this estate okay, to, to yeah. grow. On a positive end, I think we should have solar panels up here because it's always sunny up in Jerby, that's for sure. It's always sunny up in well, the north, isn't it? Well, uh, <laughs> the, the averages Airport. will show you the sunniest place uh, sunniest place in the north of the island Airport. and a fantastic Move place it. for people to have businesses okay. and uh, to base themselves and, and some, to live. I hope you've got some spare garage space because you might have to take a few books and uh, <laughs> things. <laughs> gas, no, there's no gas mask left, but you know. <laughs> well, there's plenty in there for everyone. In fact, I would say, Paul, on a, se on a, on a serious yeah. note, you know, I hope that people will uh, take the opportunity over the next six weeks so they've yeah. got a spare couple of hours to Come just to up. pop up have a look because there's Crazy. an amazing amazing selection of books and a million in there. million books in, million there. books in there and there's the stuff that in there that i don't know where it goes back to but it's probably been there yeah. a long long time incredible, incredible. older than us maybe don't know you maybe oh thanks <laughs>